Hi guys. Today I want us to check out what is in my pencil pouch. So I have several of these. I got them from Amazon. They come in a set of three. There was a brown, beige and a white one. I just picked this one because it kind of looks like a cork. These are the pencils and highlighters and so on that I use all the time. If I feel extra artsy or creative, then I pull out my big bag. But this is the one that holds all the pencils that I use all the time. This is my essential pouch, if you may. I have a bigger bag where I have my extended collection, but these are my essentials. So let's see what's inside. So I'm going to go one by one. Whichever one comes out first, we'll surprise ourselves, right? All right, let's see what's first. Mm. So this is highlighted by Stabilo, uh, Stabilo Boss. You will notice that uh, I'm really into very calm, peaceful colors like creams and especially like, sea glass and sea foam and you know pleasant blues like this power blues. And my highlighters and pencils are not an exception. So you will see a lot of this kind of a color scheme. I journal and plan to kind of you know for the peace of mind, and so I picked myself a color scheme that will kind of complement that. So I really like this one. First of all, I love the color and I love the size of it. It's very small, but it does the job. It's, you know, really nice to hold in your hand and it closes tightly so it doesn't dry up and it has a slanted tip. So if you want to do really thin writing, then you can use this tip. And if you want a really wide one, you just angle it this way. So it's really cool. Put it aside here. Next, it's like a bag of tricks, right? <laughs> Next one, surprise, surprise, also in this really nice minty color. It is Zebra Midliner. I love these guys. I have several one of them. This is my favorite color. What I love about Zebra Midliners, of course, is that it has two ends. It has the side that is wide, also tip like the Stabilo. And then you also have the thinner one if you want to literally write out or underline with very thin line. So I really like that it's like two in one and of course gorgeous color zebra is a great brand i love them the next one is oh my goodness you didn't see that coming another blue pen so this is a fountain pen I believe it's a pilot. I will have to put it in the description below. So this one is a fine nib. It is a cartridge pen. So if you unscrew it, you'll see that it's cartridge and also fits another one in here. I already used it up, but I just kept it there because I just switched them today actually. So it's really nice and just a snap on. And I like this uh, handle. It kind of gives you a really good grip because of these little bubbles. Next is another zebra midliner. So as I mentioned, I created like a really calm color scheme for myself for when I plan and it included just three colors. It's this mint one, this kind of like natural brown one, and you will see another one, I believe it's like light gray. What I was going for is kind of like beachy uh, theme. So this is like sand and this is like water, you know. Again, same as this mint one, it's two sided. You have this side here with the wider tip and one with a narrow one. I really love this one. They're very smooth. They have very beautiful colors and uh, I'm a functional planner so I don't do a lot of artsy stuff in my planners or in my journals but when I want to just spiff it up a little bit I use these guys. Put next to its little brother. Next is so this is also from Stabilo just like this guy. I love these. So I know there are a lot of different felt tip pens out there or felt tip markers and I tried different ones, even the ones that like loved by everyone, but I really like these guys. I don't know what it is, but it's so smooth. It This one is um, 0.4 fine and I just love it. It's so smooth. It doesn't uh, screech when you write on paper. That, that sound for me is like chalk on <laughs> on the board or nails on the whatever. Uh, so I really like that when you write, it doesn't make any like screechy noise. So I really like this. So this one is your basic black. Uh, I journal with this one. I write out titles with this one. So many uses. I like this thickness. So it's not too thin, not too thick. Next one is 
and not shocker it's actually a red i have this one for my schoolwork if i ever need red i don't use red i use red really really rarely it actually reminds me of school times when teachers used to you know write out notes in red so because of that i'm not a big fan of red uh, pens but this brand just stream i love these pens so smooth i have them in black and blue and red i don't think i have the other colors in here but this brand if you're looking for a, a perfect marriage of like ink and um you know the ballpoint kind of like paste right this has both in it so it's very smooth it's so liquidy but it doesn't it dries really fast it doesn't uh, dirty your fingers because of the thickness of the ink it's really good next one is a pencil so this actually is a graphing pencil for like architects and drafters i love it so for the longest time i didn't like writing with pencils because of the screeching sound they make but this one i just stumbled on it one day and this one has a 0.9 tip i forgot what it's called so it has a, a 0.9 thickness and because of that it is very very smooth and to be honest when i began to journal i was very self-conscious of what i wrote and i felt like it was so permanent and writing with pencil in my journals and in my planners made it so much easier for me because I knew that I could erase it and make it really nice and clean and it just made it easier for me to like step over that that fear of writing in my journal or planning things out and this guy really really helped me it, it's solid it's aluminum so it's nice and heavy it's not light you can advance the oh my god i just forgot what it's called and it has an eraser on the other side it's you cannot tell that it's there but it is and you can take it out and you can replace it with a new one you can hold the the spare spares in here i don't know if i have any yeah no i don't and then you just replace the eraser they you can buy the spare ones at the store um amazon or staples or any um any such store so love this guy love 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 i got everyone at work and all my friends hooked on these pencils once they try them they realize how nice they are because it is 0.9 it is very smooth and very dark so it's almost like writing with a pen but obviously it's erasable next thing we have is another stabilo so this one is in my favorite color <laughs> family of blue again love it it's so smooth whenever i want to you know pretty up my my writing if i'm just writing for example in black and white or in pencil i'll use this one to create like headers or just create little flowers or little stars on the page just to pretty up the page or underline or circle just to kind of like give this little visual interest to my planning and we're almost done i think all right so this is the third um, zebra midliner so see this one is kind of like in this um grayish beige color again these three for me create such a like calm and pleasant color combination like you're by the beach you know you can imagine like this one is a sand and this one is water and this is like weathered bench or weathered piece of wood that's sitting on the sand and you're sitting down and looking at beautiful water <laughs> so that's what i'm thinking you know kind of imagining when i'm planning or, or journaling that i'm by the beach and it's beautiful and calm you can hear the water and then i have one more so this one looks like it's the same color but it's not it's slightly different blue um, i ordered this one just to try how i like this blue versus this one i know the difference in color is not that significant but it's nice to have sometimes just different shades of uh, the color that you love and the next one is this one is i, I got it pretty recently i usually don't like gel pen or ink pens to me they are too liquidy and i constantly get you know ink on the side of my hand but this one by paper made uh, it's called ink joy gel and this is 0.7 i generally don't like very fine nibs i like or tips i like you know 0.5 and up this one is i love it first of all of course i love the color when i saw the color i was like i have to get it i don't care how it <laughs> it writes i want to try it out i love this one the color is great the quality of ink is great i think i'm actually almost done with it too so i on amazon i saw there was i believe you can buy like a 12 pack of these so i'm definitely getting that and by the way uh, any of these uh, i'll put links to them in the description box below so then you can check them out for yourself i love these i'm very tactile so if the pen or pencil is very scratchy or has the sound like you know how yellow highlighter lives on a page I can't write with them because it's like you know makes my skin crawl so for me the smoothness 
a pleasant like writing experience is very important and all of these guys passed passed the test uh, so what do we have uh, i have one more stabilo again this one is um, also try to create that same beachy kind of um, theme here right the blue is in the bronze for the sand or the wood or you know sea we sea grass something like that so these are my like calm <laughs> calm you know color scheme going on here and the last of the pencils i know it's a big surprise it's actually not blue it's purple these pencils or these pens i'm sorry are amazing so i have a i believe eight pack of these i don't have it here but um they're of every color and there is actually blue and light blue in there but um i used to love purple and i still love purple as well so sometimes i go back and forth between the blues and purples so this is friction this is pen that is erasable so it's like the best thing ever so pilot friction as i mentioned they come in a variety of colors so this one is let me see 0. 0.7 again as i mentioned don't like when they're too thin this one is amazing so it's sharp enough but it's not scratchy because the ink is very very smooth and it's a clicker and then to erase it the eraser is actually this tip right here so the friction as the name implies, the way it gets erased is by friction, so from heat. So if you erase it, basically you make the ink warm and it disappears, like, you know, like those magic spy inks. And this one is amazing. When I was trying to go from erasable pencil to a pen in my planners, again, you know, that whole permanence was kind of freaking me out. This was awesome because I can write with a pen, nine, nice and dark and legible. But if I made a mistake, I could erase it and make my planner nice and clean. Love this one. Highly recommend. And then I have some other random things in here. Actually, I have nothing to do with planning because I do take this one on the road with me. I have the essentials, some buttons and some safety pins and needles. So I needles in case if, you know, I lose a, uh, a button or I need to like keep my blouse together or something. Highly recommend as well. I also have, um, because I wear glasses, uh, you can see, but I am. <laughs> I actually have this little uh, eyeglass repair kit. So this is a little uh, looking glass. There are some little screws in here. And then this is a little screwdriver in there. So really cute. I love miniature everything. So I just, you know, my glasses don't break that often, but I don't know, I just love these, they're so cute. And the last thing, I know, totally unapplicable, but uh, a floss <laughs> because uh, like I said, I take this pouch on the road with me and it's useful to have. So there you have it. As you can see, a nice pouch inside the stripe. The um, zipper is very, very smooth. And it's like that little pouch that could, right? It's a small pouch, but look how many pencils and markers and highlighters it holds. And then I kind of like massage it a little bit and it lays pretty flat. So here you have it. These are my essential markers, highlighters, pencils and pens and even floss that I carry with me uh, when I plan, when I journal, when I just doodle in my notebooks. So I hope you like this video and um, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like that and I'll talk to you later. Bye!